we went through the process and I submitted a bid to USA Gymnastics and, um, and we went through the process and the TBID in Destination Missoula helped me refine and kind of tidy up and make pretty my bid and um, lo and behold, you know, about six months later we found out we got it and then we actually didn't get to announce it until six months after that. But yeah, we announced it last March and it's it's here. All right, so so, so tell me uh, how many teams are coming, where are they coming from, and just how many people total are actually going to be in Missoula for this thing? It's so exciting. So it is 23 states will be represented um, west of the Mississippi, basically. Um, so anywhere from Texas to the Dakotas, oh, you know, over all the way across to California, Alaska, Hawaii. So 23 different states. Um, there will be 204 teams represented, um, and that is made up of, there will be 450 gymnasts, 441 coaches, and then hopefully, you know, each one of them brings a family member or friend. Um, so it's expected to bring in a delegation of about 1,400 people, and all of those except for the now, let's see, one, two, three, four, five are qualified from the state of Montana. The other, you know, 445 are from everywhere else. Fantastic. So what does this mean to the city of Missoula as far as, you know, uh, the, the economic boost? It's, uh, I think it's going to be good news. I hope. <laughs> I know the airport is sold out on Wednesday. I, I've heard you cannot uh, book a ticket on Wednesday, and there are people now coming in tomorrow. Um, so there will be people flying into the airport starting as early as tomorrow and all the way through Saturday. Um, so it's, it's huge for the airport. Um, people will be driving as well, the rental cars, um, the restaurants, the hotels. I know that our two host hotels are sold out, um, and so now they're spilling over into all of our other hotels, which is beautiful. Um, it's, it's predicted that it could bring in about $1.3 million in revenue. So, yeah, we'll see. Fantastic. Now, where will the competitions be held? It's at the Adams Center, um, and it begins Friday morning at 8 a.m., and it runs through Sunday at 4.30. And the big highlights are we just found out today that one of our alternates made it in. We just found that out this morning. So we have Naya Bowden competing at 8 a.m. on Saturday, and now we have just added Jen Mickelson, who will be competing at 8 a.m. on Sunday. Fantastic. That's wonderful. Yeah, we're excited. Now, now, are we talking? Uh, are talking about uh, the total, the total package, or are they competing in individual events, or what? You ask great questions. Um, at this level, they're required to compete all around. So, both of these ladies are all of the athletes will be doing all four events: vault bars, beam four, um, and it's going to be some pretty amazing gymnastics. This is level nine; it's the second highest level in USA Junior Olympic competition. Uh, you're you're going to see big gymnastics. Now, are are there men involved, or is it just women? This one is just the girls, yep. Okay, great. And is there a charge to get in? Yes, of course. Um, So it's a $20 ticket for a full-day pass for adults, and it's $10 for children. Uh, We're letting the Grizz students in for free with their Grizz card in hopes of packing the stands. One of the things we're kind of pushing now at this point is we, we just... We want to draw a hometown crowd for these kiddos because, you know, a lot of them are coming with just their coach and maybe one parent. And so we want those stands to be packed for these girls. 